Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys, men, welcome back to the channel. I know my videos have been few and far between recently, but man, I've been busy. Been busy with work, been busy with life. I've been busy spending some money, as you guys can see in the thumbnail. We've got a complete new setup. So, you know, I have the eight ton that I haul around with my 30 foot gooseneck and my 550, that does the trick. It's done great for me now for the last uh, third year for the truck and trailer, fourth year for the machine. It's been hands down the best decision I ever made, um, you know, as a business owner for sure was to buy that machine to buy that setup. It's been perfect. It's been perfect. So, you know, I'm looking at getting into more things, smaller things, uh, just taking on more work instead of having to jump one machine around to do little odds and ends and things. I can have two machines. One smaller machine to do small stuff, you know, smaller brush for, well, hold on, I'm not gonna give too much away there. But I like a smaller machine and a bigger machine to do different applications and I'm not bouncing and around from site to site. When I get emergency phone calls, I'm not hauling the machine off one job site to another. I have a backup and, you know, I can haul it around with this truck right here or my 19350. So the first thing I'll show you that we got was we got the new Gen Y torsion hitch. So you guys know that I swear by these things. I have the 16,000 pound one and I absolutely love it. It's done amazing things for me. I've had it for five years, four or five years, and it's still, it, it's, it's basically new. It doesn't look new, but it's basically new. You know, they are expensive hitches. They can be six, 700 bucks, but you buy one and it's good to go. You got adjustable, you know, adjustable, points depending on how high your truck is of course this truck's pretty high so I'm on the bottom setting but you can flip the hitch over and it gives you more clearance along the ground and then you have more you know adjustability going going down as well but that's that's what we got this one is the 21,000 pounds so this goes to the two and a half inch um, coupler so that is the first thing second thing is this 20 foot equipment hauler and this is the b wise trailer b wise brimer you know they're basically the same thing this is just the line they're putting out and this is a beautiful beautiful trailer i was very very lucky to find this trailer this equipment purchase and everything happened pretty quickly and i was scrounging around to find trailers and i was looking at a couple um other trailer brands i'm not gonna not gonna mention names and they maybe would have done the trick, but it definitely was not built like this. It was not built like this at all. It was not a whole lot less money and getting half the trailer really. So this is a 20 foot long. It has two 7,000 pounds, but it is a 15.4 GVWR trailer. As you can see right here, I can't really bring you guys in there, but it's there. So this gives me 12,100 pounds of payload on my deck. And my equipment is not gonna be that heavy, but this thing is built, guys, this thing is built. I'm gonna do a more in-depth, you know, review of this trailer, how it works, it's gravity, but it's, it's, it's weighted in the back, so when you, once you flip the lever, the ramp just goes automatically up, the deck goes automatically up. You don't have to step on the end. That's how it works today. We'll work that way down the road. We'll have to wait and see. But it is a gravity. It's not uh, power. You know, this is spring loaded. In here, I've got my brand new binders, brand new chains, which are, which are twice as long as what I need, but they don't sell. I couldn't find anything shorter than 20 feet. So I just grabbed four. I'm gonna have tons of extra chain. I will eventually be cutting these and making these up. But I'll be using the, I can use the 20 footers on my other trailer, so I'm not really worried about that. Nice big toolbox. Um, beautiful, beautiful primed and powder coated finish. This is probably the best powder coat that, that I've seen on a trailer. Um, I was looking for a big Tex, but I couldn't get a big Tex in time. It would have taken quite a long time to get it in, and I needed one right now. This is as close to a big Tex as what you get. These are built very, very, very similar. I'm very, very happy with this trailer, and like I said, I was very lucky to find this. It just got off the trailer that day, and I basically showed up a couple hours after it got off the truck, and I said, yeah, I want that. 
and then by the time they came the next day and picked it up he could have sold it three or four more times so we got 16 feet of tilt and four feet of fixed deck for 20 feet all together this will be perfect for the machine that i'm picking up nice big heavy duty tires it has the uh, torsion suspension on it right there you know very beefy 16 inch cross members yeah she is well built fellas she is well built but that's not the main event now is it so let's jump in the truck and go pick up the main event all right boys here we are here we are come on you know i bleed orange i bleed orange fellas let's get this thing all right boys there she is kx080 oh my god i'll see it stuck in my brain kx040-4 yes sir we've got the you know normal uh sort of bucket construction bucket we've got the 36 inch landscape bucket but there's one more thing very important thing for this machine that is not here yet actually two two very important things as you can see it doesn't have a thumb so yes i am getting the thumb it just does not happen to be here right now it'll be here later on in the week or the first of next week i'll get that slammed on and then there's something else coming for this thing within the next week as well and then that will be getting geared up and going on this thing you can probably take a guess at what that thing is but yes we went with the kubota of course so we got a four ton so before we were riding with the eight ton, now we're riding with the four ton. We cut things in half. I can tow behind my 2020 or my 2019. Perfect, perfect setup. You know, we've got room for the bucket in front. I could turn it sideways and make more room. Same thing if I switch buckets around. The uh, mulcher will have room because we're definitely gonna still be below our 13 feet, which is what we want. But yes, sir, fellas, we are rocking and rolling and ready to go. So let's see how this thing pulls. We're at about 9,500 pounds here and we're at uh, 3,400 pounds on the trailer. So 95, 35, let's say we're at 13,000 pounds behind the truck right now. We got the Gen Y hitch on. I brought it up one level, but you can see we're sitting nice and level. The truck might slightly be squatted, slightly ever so slightly it could be how we're sitting too but brand new setup boys brand new setup all right we are off i've got 90 pounds in the bags right now I'm trying to find the machine back there <laughs> we've got 90 pounds in the bags right now we've got tow haul on let's put our engine brake on all right so right now i just started i just pulled away and man like i don't even feel like there's anything back there like it does not even feel like there's anything back there whatsoever. This truck just has so much power, fellas. Like you, you need to you need to drive one of these things to understand. There is the you know the other trucks, the 1970s, 19s, they had lots of power, but man, this is this is something else. We'll see when I get on the highway how this thing does. Uh, I'll probably just let the truck figure its shit out. So I'm probably just going to uh, actually I'm gonna go a different route here. So I'll see on the first couple hills, you know what it does with uh, with the 10 speed. See how she hauls. I'll let it figure itself out on its own. But just pulling away there, like I'm barely on the pedal. She just wants to rock and roll. But yeah, fellas, so we have a complete brand new setup. And man, does anyone want some chains? Because I have enough chains back there. One chain, nah, two chains would probably do my whole setup, and I've got four. So yeah, you know, the time has come to, you know, purchase another machine. I've got some, you know, extra amount of work going on. And this will certainly take a load off of the eight ton. I can do a lot of versatile things with this machine, you know, different attachments and stuff I can put on it. But uh, anyway, I'll talk about it more when I get back to the house and let you guys know some plans, but I'm sure you guys can guess what the next attachment that's gonna be going on this, other than the thumb. Of course, we got the thumb. It's, 
it's so different on the inside compared to my uh, 080 because the controls were not what I usually run so I had to switch it over uh, anyway anyway I'll explain more I'll explain more when we get off the road all right guys so been driving for probably 10 15 minutes now I just decided to lock out 10th because all right so we're at 116 kilometers an hour right now so I don't know 72 73 miles per hour until this car just pulled in front of me and you know at that speed in ninth gear I'm doing 1500 I don't want to go any lower on my rpm than 1500 but man was she ever pulling strong up hills at ninth so you know here we are in ninth right now my speed is slightly increased and I'm at 1600 rpm maybe 1650 got a pretty good incline right here so we'll see what this thing does but man I tell you between a good solid trailer the truck with the airbags and that and that Gen Y torsion hitch what a combination what a comfortable comfortable ride so people in front of me are slowing down it's not me slowing down it's them the adaptive cruise here we are still in ninth just pulling the hill the only reason why I'm slowing down is because these people in front of me are slowing down so I'm gonna go out once it's safe and I'm gonna pass these people but now they're speeding up so their little cars hit that hill and lost speed. My truck towing 13,000 pounds did not. But yeah, I'm, I'm very, very, very happy because this is probably going to be the setup. The majority of the time will be this truck hooked up to this trailer hauling this machine. And it just feels fantastic. Again, I definitely could put it up in ninth gear. I mean, 10th gear. And it, it would be cruising along here no problem but I like the RPMs where they are I don't want to lug the engine and I know guys I say it all the time but keep in mind we've got 37 inch tires on this truck 37 inch tires with the leveling kit on this truck hauling this like like nobody's business it just does it it doesn't even care all right guys we made her back it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful night here tonight. Grass is finally starting to get green. Trees are budded. Sump pumps going in the pond. Dogs are cruising around. Birds are chirping. Finally, finally it feels like, you know, 2020 has been brutal for everybody. But it just, this just makes me feel so much better. But, there she is, fellas. There is the brand new setup. I mean, including the truck, really. So, brand new truck, you know, what is it now, six months old. Brand new trailer, three days old. Brand new hitch, three days old. Brand new excavator, a few hours old. The bucket, <laughs> the bucket's one that they had in their yard. You can see the paint difference. They said, do you care? I said, absolutely not. Just get it. Give it to me. I'm working this thing tomorrow. But first off, let me tell you, that was the most enjoyable towing drive that I potentially have ever done. This thing is just ridiculous with power. Ninth gear the whole time, uphills. Like, it's like nothing was behind. It was, it was, on, I know people say that all the friggin' time, guys. I know they say it all the time. You guys can fall. People can call me a Ford fanboy or something. No, I'm not. If a Ram did this, I'd be impressed. If a Chev did this, I'd be impressed. But just, it didn't struggle like one bit, like absolutely zero. It was incredible. Okay, now, so let's get on to the machine. Yes, it is a brand new 2020 Kubota KXO, <laughs> KXO 40-4. I keep wanting to say eight. So I have some big plans for this thing. Right now we've got the We've got the uh, landscape bucket on. We've got just the normal construction bucket up front. There's gonna be some more things coming with this. One thing is the thumb, like I mentioned, and another thing is, you guys can guess, I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna try to keep an element of surprise. But uh, after that, like I wanna put an auger on this thing. I wanna get a breaker on this thing. There's gonna be, there's gonna be some stuff going on. There's gonna be some stuff going on. 
I plan to have this as a versatile little machine. So I'm not going to get too far into, you know, the horsepower, hydraulic flows and all that stuff with this machine right now. There will be a more detailed video of this. Not the first time I use it because I'm using it tomorrow and I'm not going to record it. It's a personal landowner and uh, it's not really an exciting job at all. So I'm not going to bother recording that. One thing I will point out is that I did not go for the six point hitch or the six way hit, uh, six way blade or whatever. I, with the, with the landscaping bucket, I mean, yeah, it's cool to put on angles and all that stuff for sloping, but I don't really see me using it that much. And it was like a big time expensive upgrade. We're talking like six, $7,000 just to have that six way blade. I didn't bother with it. Um, and with that, it would have made the excavator longer. So I would have had enough room to fit this all on, but I just didn't bother. But I will show you inside the cab for a second. It's so weird getting in this thing. Everything is just smaller, it's, but it's not really that small. But for some reason, the seat feels like it's cranked way up in the air. And from what I can tell, I have it down all the way, but I'm not sure. I haven't even had a chance to see if I can adjust this seat yet. But when I got in it, the controls were wrong, and I pulled this down, and on my on my eight ton, the lever's right here. Well, on this, it's this lever right here. You gotta flip this up and flop that over, and then you can pull this up or push that down, and you are good to go. Of course, we got air condition. We got a radio. Air condition here. Uh, you know, all of our controls are identical to my eight ton. And then the display screen again is identical to my 8 ton. These are, you know, flimsier, smaller than what my 8 ton is. Everything about it's slightly smaller. Of course, my 8 ton has like the big cage on the top for, you know, forestry and stuff, but no, it's a nice little machine. The cab's quiet, light right here. But I did, um, one thing, I only ran it for a second, obviously, just loading it on the machine. I mean on the trailer but man it's fast like first off in turtle it was fast in rabbit it was really fast and the boom controls and the bucket controls were like super super fast it was super responsive i was pretty impressed but anyway guys i mean stay tuned obviously there's going to be a ton more videos on this on the trailer we got the new hitch you know obviously the truck you guys all know that and yeah we're gonna see what this little machine can do i'm, I'm really looking forward to how this versatile how versatile this little machine can be but anyway guys that's it we spent some money that's for sure uh in this last year we've definitely spent some coin but you gotta spend money to make money right that's what they say anyway as always you know what to do wow okay until next time take care stay safe and we'll see you then bye